So Hyperbaric made headlines this week because there was somebody well-known who did experience some burns and is using Hyperbaric as an attempt to treat. I wanted to bring this up to the forefront because I know that people are going to wonder, well, well, why is he going in there and, and what does Hyperbaric do? Dr. Jason Saunders here. Today, we're going to talk about Hyperbaric Oxygen as it relates to burns. Now, usually when we talk about Hyperbaric Oxygen on this channel, we're usually talking about off-label use, meaning using hyperbaric on potential indications that are not FDA approved. So therefore, we need to use our clinical judgment to understand, does it make sense to apply this therapy to that condition? In this case, hyperbaric oxygen is actually an on-label indication, meaning the FDA has approved hyperbaric for the use in healing from burns. And typically, insurance companies might even pick that up if the burns are over 20% of the person's body, you know, severe burns over 20% of the person's body or impacting very delicate or fragile tissues. What happens during the burn? Number one, there's going to be tissue damage. There'll be skin damage, the epidermis, the dermal layers, depending on how deep the burn is, you're going to have cellular and tissue damage, obviously in the area of the burns. As that tissue is damaged, all the capillary beds that feed those tissues with oxygen are also going to be damaged. So we have a, a layer of damage from the burn itself. And then as a result of the capillary beds in that area also being destroyed, now we're in a situation where oxygen cannot get into the area that needs to heal. When we have damage that leads to inflammation, which most of it does, and we get into a situation where the healing slows or stops, the reason that the healing process will often stop is because it's stuck in what's called the inflammatory phase of healing. And so the body has this big inflammatory response to the initial tissue damage. But as a result, some of that inflammation is actually impeding the ability of the oxygen getting into diffusing across those membranes and getting into the area to help continue to stimulate a healing response. The main thing that hyperbaric does is it creates gradient. If we can create an oxygen gradient, meaning we can drive oxygen from one area of high concentration into an area of low concentration, we can start fueling that tissue and start recapturing or reigniting that healing response. And so with burns, that's especially important. We have this delicate tissue. It's been damaged. It's now becoming hypoxic. And what it needs is an oxygen gradient from within in order to continue to stimulate the healing process. So step one in that burn victim's healing using hyperbaric oxygen is to just establish the oxygen gradient. The oxygen gradient required for driving oxygen into the cell, which allows that cell to then perform its jobs, and in this moment, that would be to heal. Step two would be that those repetitive exposures of hyperbaric oxygen are gonna help rebuild those capillary networks. As we rebuild those capillary networks, we're gonna start being able to deliver oxygen through the normal route, which is gas exchange between the capillaries once those capillary beds are rebuilt. So now that we have the oxygen gradient established and we have the capillary repair so we can deliver fuel, remove wastes, bring down the inflammation, step three would be now we can start the actual tissue repair. The cellular repair, the growth factors that are released through hyperbaric, the stem cells that are released through hyperbaric, to continue that healing process. Like any other condition, the sooner we can get access to these kinds of therapies, the faster and the more significant healing we could likely see. In our clinics, we don't typically treat extensive burns. We're really not equipped. We're not a hospital setting. We have certainly seen other patients with different types of second degree burns. They wouldn't be enough to be considered for insurance reimbursement. They certainly would still heal. If, if exposed to hyperbaric oxygenation. And so we've treated quite a few patients with different levels and different types of burns, even sunburn. And getting that oxygen in, reducing the inflammation and bringing in the growth factors, recreating that anabolic healing and regenerative quality of the cells and the tissues can certainly shift somebody and promote some real serious healing from burns very, very quickly. That, those are the mechanisms. I just wanted to share that just so people understood a little bit more how or why are we applying hyperbaric oxygen to folks who have been burnt. And while in very severe cases, thank God we have this and it's likely to be you know, in a hospital setting and uh, potentially even insurance reimbursable, in less severe settings, it could still be very, very helpful. And in more private clinics that focus on off-label use could certainly apply hyperbaric for burns and still expect to see amazing results. See you next time. Thanks a lot.